be seated. God richly bless you, woman of God and man of God, for that wonderful time. Amen. 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 Now let's give honor to whom honor is due. As I invite the man of God, a man that God is using so powerfully in the nations, he is the founder of Fresh Anointing International Ministries Worldwide. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Powerful man of God. And today, every wall of Jericho that stands in your way will come crashing down. Yeah. And so without wasting any more time, let's start to our feet. Give honor to whom honor is due as we come upon the official Dr. Jeffrey. Yeah, we did wish. You will hear them from heaven. 
and you will heal their land. Amen. Lord, once again, we have come from various houses, various cities, various families, and we have come under your feet tonight. Lord, I pray to God that you give us divine instruction. Amen. Give us divine direction. Amen. May we live here knowing, O God, that victory is assured for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. We come against every territorial demons. We come against principalities. We come against powers of darkness. We activate the angel of the Lord on assignment on our behalf today to fall. Be in every assignment of the enemy against us in the name of Jesus. That by the end of the day, your name will be glorified. We give you thanks. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, we return to someone say, God bless you for coming. I'm ministering briefly on the subject I call Until you pray, nothing will happen for you. Then to someone say, Until you pray, nothing will happen for you. When you talk about nothing happening unto somebody prays, you are talking about the principles that govern success, the principles that govern the earthly realm. Hear me. In Genesis chapter 1, when God came on the scene, well, verse 26, his Bible said, God said, let us make man in our own image. Mm. And as we read on from verse 26 to 29, Bible said, after that, God made man in his own image. And God gave man dominion. Somebody said dominion. Dominion. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Somebody dominion. said dominion. 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 Help me to help me. Somebody said dominion. Dominion. Somebody shout dominion. 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 Dominion means that man was placed in charge of the earthly realm. The reason why you must pray is because Bible said we sold our birthrights. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Lucifer bought our birthright. So in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 4, Jesus said, The devil is the god of this earth. And yet, on that foundation, Bible said when Jesus came to redeem man, he did not come as God, but he came as a man. And he came through the principles that has been given to man within the earthly realm. Remember, within this time, Lucifer is in charge. So when Jesus came on the scene, Bible said he applied the principle of humanity. And what did he do? He was led into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. And Bible said why he was praying. In Luke chapter 4, Bible said the devil came and said, Hey, you know that I am the God of this earth. Mm. And everything within this earthly realm belongs to me. Mm. The only way I can give it to you is if you bow down and worship me. Mm. And yet, Bible said Jesus turned to him and said, Man shall not leave my bread alone, but every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. Amen. The authority that has been given to you as the redeemer of the Lord, as the anointed of the Lord, has been taken by the devil. As we look into Genesis chapter 1, you will notice that you have been given authority over 12 kingdoms of the earth. Amen. You are given authority over the animal kingdoms, over the plant kingdom, over the human kingdom, over the fish kingdom, over the sea kingdom, over the underworld kingdom. But here is a point that we sold that authority to the devil. Jesus. And not only that, you also agree with me that we have eight wounds that governs the universe. Mm. You say, what are you talking about wounds? You, you're talking about the entrance to the earth. Come on. God sees the womb of the woman as an entrance to the earth. And we have other seven wounds to your miracles. Mm. I'm trying to lay a foundation here. Come on. As I'm trying to lay a foundation here. Amen. And these are the things that God has given us authority over. The 12 systems of the world. The 12 systems that govern the universe. The eight wounds to your miracles. Yeah. I'm talking about the enemy has taken authority over your financial wounds. Yes. Yeah. We're not just talking about biological wounds. We're also talking about your marital wounds. We're talking about your ministerial wounds that will give birth to that miracle. That will give birth to that growth. That will give birth to that destiny that God has placed over you. 
But until we begin to pray, these things will not be manifest. Tell your Bible study with me. Let me take you through the word of God. Shah hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. I said, Shah hallelujah, somebody. Second Corinthians chapter number seven, verse number 14. I want somebody to read for me quickly. I'm looking at the rules of engagement. Second Corinthians 7 14. Uh -huh. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face uh -huh. and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven uh -huh. and will forgive their sins and will genuinely their land. Not the word. If my people Amen. 
and then take something that will be pronounced over your life. You have authority over them. Lift up your voice and say, I will not die. I will not die. Lift up your voice and say, No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. That will rise against me. That will force me. And shout hallelujah, somebody. So look at what Jesus said in Luke chapter 4, verse 5 to 6. Somebody pray for me quickly. Luke chapter 4, verse 5. Yeah. Good yourself. Look for five or six. It yeah. says, and the devil take him up into a high mountain, show unto him all the kingdoms of the world. And the devil! <laughs> He's taking too many of us to the high mountain. Mm -hmm. You are working five jobs, eight jobs, just because of what Satan has shown you. <laughs> He's taking you up there, he showed you the beauty of the world. And all that he's telling you is forsake the mindset of God. Come on, preach it. Forsake the will of God. Preach it. Said. And just commit yourself to hard work. Who told you hard work makes you a billionaire? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Who tells you that hard, hard work makes you to own the house? Mm -hmm. It's by the grace of God. Yes. I said it's by the mercy of God. Bible said that the devil and body led him to the highest mountain. And show him the beauty of the world. Mm. And what did he say after that? Sir? It says that, and he showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment. He showed him all the kingdoms of the world. In the Remember, of time. in the moment of time, I'm talking about there are 12 kingdoms in the universe that God has given you authority over. Yes. Oh, you didn't hear me. Yes. Yes. There are all 12 kingdoms. According to Genesis chapter 1 account of the universe that God has given you authority over. Amen. And man do not even know any of this kingdom, but the devil took him to the highest mountain. Amen. And Bible said he showed him the kingdom of the world. Amen. He didn't say a single one. <laughs> he used the word plural. He showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And what did he say after that? And the devil said unto him, uh -huh. All this power will I give thee. Hey! If you bow and worship me, I will make you king over all the kingdoms of the world. But forgotten that God has already given man authority over the 12 kingdoms. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't hear me. Okay. I'm talking about we have 12 kingdoms within the universe. We have 12 rules that governs your miracle within the universe. We have 12 kingdoms. And Bible said the devil now is duplicating what God has already given to man. Mm -hmm. What did he do? He said, All oh, this power will I give thee. All oh, this power will I give thee. But God has given it to you already. And the glory of them. And the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me. Hey! Somebody shout, hey! For that is what? Delivered unto me. Who delivered it to him? You didn't hear me. I'm taking you somewhere. Who delivered the 12 kingdoms of the universe to Lucifer? Somebody see me. So he was standing on the legal right. He was standing on the legal ground. It was a law abounding document that he was presenting to Jesus. Remember, in, behind his mind, he knows that he's talking to God. Mm -hmm. He knows that he's talking to the I am. He knows that he's talking to the Elohim. Mm -hmm. He knows that he's talking to the King of Kings. Mm -hmm. He's just reconfirming his authority to God. Mm -hmm. And said, this has been given to me by man. Now that you have made yourself man, let me show you what I have. Mm -hmm. And for me to show you what I have, this is the principle to operate in it. What did he say to the end of that message? He says, and to whomsoever I will. Hey! Somebody say hey. Hey! Somebody say hey, hey, hey. For whomsoever I will, I will do all. I give it. I give it. Finish it. And if that, if that therefore will worship me, hey! all shall be done. So listen. Nothing comes by chance. Mm -hmm. Everything Lucifer gives you, there's a time point. Hey, preach it. Everything Satan will give you, 
There is all a tiny book. What did he say in that verse again, please? He said, If thou will worship me, uh -huh. all shall be thine. If you worship me, I will give it to you. So what Satan is saying, I spoke to Adam. I employ Eve. And Eve hand over the document of your authority to me. Mm -hmm. I am holding the title deal. But I know you are the second Adam. I want a confirmation of this authority from you. The only way I can get it from you, as human as you are now, look at the beauty of the earth. Look at the length and the breadth of the earth. Look at how grandma looks. The only way you can get it is God and worship. Is that not how people are selling their souls for the devil? Come on. Is that not how the celebrities that we are imitating? That's supposed to be imitating you. Come on. Because they are operating in what Satan has given them. The beauty of the earth. So therefore, we have lost our legal ground. We have lost the mindset of God concerning us. And we are following what's supposed to be for us. But hear me, until you pray, this thing will not turn upside down. My assignment towards you today is to take what belongs to you. Yeah. To recover what the devil has stolen. Yeah. To recover the will of God over your life. Yeah. To begin to exercise authority. Yeah. When the devil says, hey, you will say, hey, 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 hey. And you put him where he belongs. Yes. Yes. Look at another verse of scripture in John chapter 4. Quickly. John chapter number 4. John chapter 4. Look at John chapter number 14, please. Verse number 30. John 13, 14. John 14, 30. Oh, John 14, 30. Sorry. He says, Hereafter I will not talk much with you, mm. for the prince of this world cometh. Ah. That he has not told with you. Listen to me. The only way you can overcome the deceptiveness and the principles of the sickness of Satan is why he has nothing you. Mm. Too many of us were attracted to Satan. Mm. Oh, come on, come on, preach it. Anytime you cannot control singing of worldly songs, Satan is in you. Mm. Anytime you cannot control masturbating, Satan is in you. Mm. Any sin that you are struggling with mm. is an indication that Satan has so a seed in you. Mm. Jesus said, the reason why I do not bow down for the beauty of the world is because the devil comes. Mm. But he has nothing in me. Mm. Yes. Let them call you names. Mm. Let them look down on you. Mm -hmm. Let them say you are cuckoo. Yeah. Mm. Who told you that God will spare this generation? Mm -hmm. Mm. When the days of loss, Bible said he dealt with the spirit of let me. Homosexualism, gay rights. The church is doing nothing about it. Gradually, they are forcing the church to begin to officiate Adam and Adam before the puppets. It's a taboo. They are forcing the church to begin to ordain. Is it Josiah? And Je Jeremiah. And yet, they know that they are gay couples. But Jesus said, the devil comes, but he has nothing in mm. yeah. My summon towards you is examine your life today. Mm. If Satan appear now, would you be attracted to him? And the deceptiveness of Lucifer is when you crucify the flesh. Come on, yeah. What makes people beautiful doesn't make you beautiful. Mm -hmm. What attracts people to kill, to get, doesn't attract you. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. It doesn't matter how many cars you have. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how many houses you have. It doesn't matter how many money you have in your bank account. It doesn't. What does it <laughs> Come on. Why? I will not give myself to the devil. Yes. If the church will begin to arise mm. and begin to take the battle to the gate of the enemy, mm. let the devil know that I am crucified with Christ. Come on. Amen. Amen. Nevertheless, I live, but not I. The life that I live is Christ that has died for me. The devil will live here. Everything the church is doing from the pulpit to the congregation is about the flesh. It's about the flesh. The fear of God is no more in the church. Satan has controlled the church. That is why the church has lost the voice in the nation. Do you know why the voice of the church is not echoing on the street of our nations? It's because we are imitating what they already have. Yes. And we are fighting to get what they have in support. <laughs> so do not respect you as a servant. But they were meant to be your servant. For your gospel to attract them to salvation. So Jesus hasn't come within this earth. Bible said he observed the legalities. Come on, preach it. He observed the principles. He said, This is how I can fare. I will not fall this way. Amen. He made up his mind. So he said, Yes, Mary, the mother of Jesus. Who is my mother? Mary Madeline, all the beautiful women will be around me, but my flesh will not respond to them. Mm. As a young man, as a young woman, as a pastor, as a evangelist, can you stay in the house alone with a sister mm. that has tempted you in your home? You only fought because the devil has put last in you. Mm -hmm. What makes other men beautiful about that woman? must not make you to look at her beautiful. Why? The fear of God is within your heart. You are an ambassador of Christ. You are the voice of God. You are an authority on earth. Satan knows who is living a holy life. Satan knows who is living a righteous life. You can deceive your bishop. You can deceive your pastors. But you cannot deceive yourself. I'm talking about from Monday to Saturday, you have not opened your Bible. You have not prayed. You have not fasted. You have not evangelized. You don't even know who you are dealing with. You are dealing with a common enemy that you don't know. You, you can call Satan every name, but you cannot say he's stupid. Because he wastes his battle based on strategies. The very strategy he adopted in the garden by bringing Adam and Eve to dispute, it was the same strategy he adopted with Esau and Jacob. Food. And food signified the work of the flesh. The very day Eve took that seed and acted, we, humanity became consumers. So everything we do is about get, get, buy, buy, good, good, but not for the future, not for eternity. I pray tonight. Amen. I say I pray tonight Amen. that your mindset will change. Amen. I say your mindset will change. Amen. Jesus said he comes. He will always come. Mm -hmm. He will come. Yes. Do you know how Satan deceives people to deception? As soon as you allow the lie of the devil and you are not able to overcome it, depression set in. That's right. When people are depressed, it's because they are in the flesh. When people are home, depressed, frustrated, is because they are thinking about the earthly realm. Mm -hmm. They are not looking beyond the earthly realm. They are not looking into heaven. Because Bible said, looking unto Jesus. Bible says this what? The author and the finisher of our faith. Hear me. Satan's aspiring day on earth is not yet over. Mm -hmm. And Satan's headquarters is not within this earth. Yes. 
Satan's headquarters is in the second heavens, according to Ephesians chapter 6, verse number 12. And hear the child of God. That is why you must pray. Because when you look at Daniel chapter 10, from verse number 1 to 12, the Bible says, when Daniel set up his face to pray, the prince of Persia, God has released the answer, but the prince of Persia intercepted the action. Hear me, hear me, a child of God. Until you pray, you will think God has forgotten. Mm. Okay. Prayer is man giving God authority to have your Amen. Oh, you didn't hear that. When you stop praying, you stop dying. Yeah. I release the mantle of prayer over you. I release the grace of prayer over you. I am not talking about spectacle. Don't use prayer as a spectacle when demons are chasing you. No. Put up your prayers here. Put up your prayer account. Fill your bounds, your spiritual prayer bank with your prayers. I am talking about you are praying in the morning. You wake up at 5 a.m., you are praying one hour. In the afternoon, you are praying one hour. In the evening, you are praying one hour. And let it become a routine. That's right. You didn't hear me. I say you didn't hear me. If you heard me, you don't shout better. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Satan is afraid of a prayer warrior. That's right. That's right. Lucifer is afraid of a man or woman that prays. A man or woman that prays is a man or woman with authority. Amen. Oh, you didn't hear me. Amen. A man or woman that prays is a man or woman that controls things in the realm of the spirit. Amen. It will not happen until God speaks to you. Yeah. Before it happened, God would have speak to you. Yeah. He would have given you direction. Yeah. He would have given you direction. Yeah. And this will begin to manifest for you. Yeah. The reason why we are struggling on that summit is because we have lost the seal of prayer. Mm. We have forgotten that there is a God of this earth. Let me just confirm to you. I quoted the beginning earlier on 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Ready for me quickly. Jesus made that profound statement. He said, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them. Somebody said, I refuse to be blinded. I refuse to be blinded. Somebody said, I refuse to be blinded. I refuse to be blinded. said, in whom? Who is he talking about? The children of rebellions. The children of disobedience. The children that come to church, they speak in tongues. They carry Bible. Oh, come on here. They pay tithe. They give offering. But yet, they are working as unbelievers. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. I'm talking about the devil is not afraid of you going to church. Mm. No. He's afraid of after church life that you live. Yes. Yeah. When you come to church, he tells his demons, leave her alone. After church, let's see if she continues. That's right. That's right. So you can go to all night. You can go to prayer meeting. Yes. You can come to church. He's not afraid of you. As one of us, sometimes they accompany you to church. Mm-hmm. Hey. And they sit by you. Yeah. And, the yeah. Yeah. and when you come to church, they begin to blow your eye and you sleep. <laughs> when you are working, you are not sleeping. No. Church has become your resting place. <laughs> and he makes sure that he used one of his strongest weapons, distraction. The next time I have opportunity, I'll deal with the spirit of distraction. Mm. Until you start praying, the, s- the enemy will begin to distract you with a mobile phone. Mm-hmm. Your children will distract you. Mm-hmm. Your, your, your body is itching. Your, your belly is aching. Uh, distraction. You have to overcome the master deceptiveness of distraction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the Bible said in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. What did he say again, man of God? Confirm it to me. He says, In whom the God of this world has blinded in who? Of, them, of them which believe not. In whom the God of this earth has planted their eyes who believe not. Let the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, to shine unto them. I release that light to shine upon them. I release that light to shine upon them. Lift up your hands and say, I refuse to be blinded. In the name of Jesus. Say, Satan. You have no authority. Spirit, over my soul, over my body. I am the redeemer of the Lord. I am the apple of the eyes of God. It is written on me. No weapon that will rise against me, that will prosper. I take authority as the redeemer of the Lord over 
the universe, over the system that controls the universe. Every system that controls the universe, I command under my feet. The 12th system that controls the universe, the 12 kingdoms within the universe, the eight wounds that give birth to the will of God and the miracles of God over my life. I take authority as the redeemer of the Lord in the name of Jesus. It is mine for taking, for manifestation. So yes. 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 Bible says no weapon. So God is raising men and women. But summon to us tonight. That you begin to stand in the gap. You begin to control things within. That God will make you a watchman over your family. Amen. A watchman over the city. Amen. A watchman over the body of Christ. Amen. Nothing will happen without God speaking to you. Amen. Because Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 30. Look into it. Bible said, God said, I'm looking for a man to stand in the gap. So you notice that when Jesus was about to be facilitated, Bible said 400 years before his birth, Bible said a prophet pick it up. He said, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, a garment shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful. But yet he was not born. We have a God of this earth, who his residence is in the second heavens. He's watching the move of God. Concerning the birth of Christ. And Bible said, God said, I have a strategy. Mm. This is a strategy. I will raise prayer warriors. Mm. Because the issue here is God is bigger than the issues within this earth. And He has given mankind authority. So God does not want to break His own rules. Neither mm. He wants to break His own words. So God said, Man is in charge. Mm. But the only way man can employ me to intervene in the affair is when man prays. Mm. So I'm looking for somebody to bridge the gap. I'm looking for somebody to stand in the gap. Read that verse on Ezekiel 27, 22 verse 30. Quickly. And give me 10 minutes to run off. I have three assignments to worship. If you don't pray in the Holy Ghost, I'll pray for you to receive the Holy Spirit. Ezekiel 22 uh-huh. 30. He says, And I sought for a man. And I sought. Somebody say I sought. I sought. For a man. To do what? Among them. Among them. That should make up the head. That should make up the head. And stand in the gap before me. And stand me in the gap before me for the land. That I should not destroy it. That I, I should not, not destroy it. But I found that. But I found that. May God find you today. Amen. I said, may God find you today. Amen. I said, may God find you today. Amen. May nothing happen in your family without God speaking. Amen. You didn't hear me. Before Amen. anybody would die, God has to open your eyes. Amen. Before any bad issue, demons will manifest in your family. God will alight your spirit. And you take the battle to the gate of the enemy. And you tell that devil, enough is enough. Amen. Lose your hope. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. So you notice that God himself applied that system. How did he apply it? Jesus was not just born. God raised a woman called Anna. Yeah. Anna, or Anna, or Anna, whatever we call her, was an intercessor. Mm. Bible said, a devout woman. A widow. And God promised her that she will not see death until that Messiah is born. Her yeah. assignment is just to be praying. Amen. Mm. Until Jesus was born. Yes. Why? God is making sure that the second heaven demons will not intercept mm-hmm. the birth of Christ. Mm-hmm. And not only that, you notice that in that same verse, Bible said there was another man called Help me Holy Spirit. Simon. Simon, thank you. So God raised Anna and Simon to begin to pray. And these are men that have not even seen Jesus. They don't even know how you will be born. They don't even know who is the mother of Jesus. Mm. The assignment is just to bridge the gap. Amen. 
They wake up in the morning. I'm not talking about destructive prayer. Come on. I'm talking about assignment prayer. They make up their mind that I am praying 12 hours a day. I am praying 18 hours a day. And my reason for praying is so that the will of God concerning the Messiah is birth. The Bible said this man and this woman refused to be distracted. And finally, the Bible said when the Messiah was born, the Holy Spirit opened their eyes. How did they know? They walked into the temple just as the day that Mary and Joseph brought Jesus for dedication. And the Bible said they rejoiced and said, now I have seen the hand of God. I have seen the Messiah of God. Now I can depart in peace. May God raise you as a pastor. Hear me, child of God. For the fact that you come to church, you are not guaranteed that you will succeed. The reason why our white folks are not in church is because they are angry with God. Two weeks ago, I preached a message. I said, do not be angry with God. But I would say, for lack of knowledge, my people perish. All that God is saying is, you are in charge here. I've placed you in charge. Whatever you allow, I will allow. Whatever you disallow, I will disallow. But the fact is, if you employ me by prayer, I will act on your behalf. Amen. Oh, that is all God is saying. Yeah. So not God, yes, God will see you dying until you rise up and say, God help me. He will not help you. Yeah. Say, but if it is God, He knows everything. Why shouldn't God help me? Yes, it's a principle. That's right. It's a legality. Right. He's bound by his own title. Oh, yes. He's bound by his own words. Right. For the father you are born again, you speak in tongues. You will not act on your behalf until you call her. Come on. Jesus. Until you do her. Call her. Until you take the battle to the gate of the enemy. He says, sit down, sit down here. Oh, yes. Let me talk to you. Mm. I am in charge. Mm. You have no authority over this body. Mm. I am born again. I'm the redeemer of the Lord. Mm. I'm the anointed of the Lord. This is what the word of God said. In Exodus chapter 23, verse 25, God said, if I serve God, you will bless my bread. Oh, yes. You will bless my water. Oh, yes. You will not put the sicknesses that you put on the Egyptians on me. So therefore, you that sickness, I command you in the name of Jesus. And the worshiper of God, leave my body. Yes. And until you begin to do that, cancer will dominate your body. Depression will dominate you. Your, your bones will begin to ache. And you, you very soon you be you, you are age. Arise as a mighty warrior. Amen. Arise as a mighty warrior. Amen. And take the battle to the gate of the enemy. Invite God to act on your behalf. Stand in the gap. Begin to pray. And pray until something happens. Yes. Mm. Yes. Somebody say push. Push. Oh, come on. Yeah. How many women here that has given birth? When you are about to deliver that child, when the midwife said push, you know that you are in between life and death. Oh, yes. I said, you know that you are between life and death. So when you hear that word push, you push until something happens. Tell the son, say push until something happens. Push until something happens. Don't stop praying until that miracle manifests. Right. Don't stop praying until the will of God over your life comes to pass. Amen. Don't stop praying until you're 120 years old. Amen. Nobody is bigger than prayer. Yes. Come on. Yes. Nobody is bigger than prayer. Yes. As long as you're on this earth, yes. our title to fulfill the will of God is to pray. Yes. Because your prayer authorizes God to put petrol in your car. Oh, yes. Yes. Your prayer authorizes God to put food on your table. Yes. Your prayers authorize God to bind the devil, to put the devil where he belongs. Yes. I prophesy over your life. Yes. I say I prophesy over your life. Yes. I say I prophesy over your life. Yes. We release the arrows of God yes. against every devil, yes. against every witch yes. from your family background. Yes. Shout yes. yes. I say shout glory. glory. What am I trying to release into your spirit? Nothing will happen for you until mm -hmm. you pray. God knows when He said, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon His shoulders. Do you know that somebody has to pray until Jesus' ministry is fulfilled? 
And do you also know that Jesus himself cultivated the attributes and the character of prayer? God himself, as long as you are within this earthly realm, prayer is your authority. Amen. Don't allow the devil to deceive you. People say, well, God knows the end from the beginning, so therefore he has made all things beautiful. Yes. Amen. Beautiful he has made it, but then he said, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Mm. That is work at it. You didn't hear me. Mm. I said, work at it. Yes. Yeah. Why? There is an interception demons mm. in efficient Bible said principalities. Mm. Bible said powers of darkness. Mm. Bible said satanic wicked spirit in high places. I am talking about it's unfair. For, for demons to be on loose against you without you doing anything about it. Mm. And God said tonight, pray another prayer. Amen. God said tonight, take the battle to the gate of the enemy. Amen. Say, man of God, I can't pray. Hear me? Prayer is a hard commodity. Prayer is not an easy thing, you think. You purposefully have to make up your mind that you work at it. Tell yourself that at least I want to pray one hour a day. At least I want to pray 30 minutes a day. I want to pray 15 minutes a day and make it a daily routine. Oh, help me to call for Jesus. Amen. I said, get me, get me. Being a Christian is not religious. Christianity is not religion. Christianity is a way of life. You must sit down and define your ways of life. Church, hear me. We are living anyhow. We are living in a hell. Forgotten that we have a common enemy. Yeah. There are enemies monitoring you. Yes. It has been said that every child of God has a thousand demons watching you. That's how dangerous you are. You have a thousand demons in charge over you. Yeah. Call it lust, call it fornication, call it also everything that is happening. There's a demon behind you. Voice. They make sure that you fall. They make sure that you never rise. They make sure that you never desire the word. There are people that come to church like my son. He's watching game or playing game, uh, whatever. That is the work of the devil. Do you understand? That, that is the work of the devil. You can't come to church and be playing game or watching movie. In church. That's right. You don't do it. I will go to heaven for my child to go to hell. So I've got to rebuke that devil. Yes. Jesus. And that is how we've got to deal with it. Yes. Because the devil is making us so busy preaching and our children are going to hell. Mm. That is not my portion. Yes. Yes. I said, that is not my portion. Yes. I said, that is not my portion. Yes. Yes. Shout hallelujah somebody. Hallelujah. I said, shout hallelujah somebody. Hallelujah. What am I trying to tell you tonight? Define your stand as a child of God. Amen. Sit down. If you don't understand it, take the dictionary. Who is a Christian? What are the rules and the model of a Christian? Because if you define your role as a Christian, you will not dress in the house. Yes. It's scaring the way people dress on the street. Mm -hmm. Mm. When they are paid for and they want to take, they show the whole <laughs> to the world. <laughs> Come on here. <laughs> on Sunday they are in church. The, the spirit of Jezebel yes. has found her son in the church. Yes. And we are applauding it. Mm. We're dancing with it. We're eating with it. But hear me. Somebody has to rise up. Amen. Somebody has to say, it's enough, it's enough. Amen. Somebody has to say, Satan, you don't belong here. Amen. Somebody has to say, you are not invited to my dining table. Amen. You are not invited in my life. I am bought with a price. Amen. I am not of my own. So therefore, let the counsel of God and the will of God manifest over my life. Amen. Until we begin to define ourselves and begin to work on ourselves, you will come to church 100 years and die and go to hell. Tell to someone say, I don't want to go to hell. Tell to someone say, I don't want to miss the rapture. And shout hallelujah, somebody. I said, shout hallelujah, somebody. I said, shout hallelujah. Say, Satan, lose your hopes. Lose your hopes. Over my mind. Over my spirit. Over my soul. Over my body. Say, Satan, by the blood of Jesus. Yeah, there are terminologies, there are languages that we use. 
as a spiritual warrior. As soon as you open your mouth and you begin to pray and I listen to you, I know your level. When you say, Satan, I bind you, I bind you. I know you're a baby Christian. You can't bind Satan. Anything bound, remain bound. Mm. Didn't hear me. Anything bound, remain for bound. You can bind demons. You can bind principalities. Mm. But you cannot bind Satan. Right. My man of God, how do you deal with Satan? You can dislocate Satan. The other day in the book of Job chapter 1 and chapter 2, the Bible said, the sons of God gathered. And God turned to Lucifer and said, hey boy, what are you doing here? Where are you from? He said, I'm boy. To and for. So what it means is, when Satan is dealing with your affair, you can say, Satan, I command you to lose your ground. Lose your horse. But I bind every principality. I bind every demons. And demons are not falling angels. You hear me? There are difference between falling angels and demons. Demons are persons that have become wicked, like the Nigeria would say. <laughs> that have not repent and died. Can you understand? Yes. That have not repent and died. Their spirit becomes demons. <laughs> And Satan uses them for his assignment. Wicked. Mm. Wicked. Do you, you understand? Yeah. Wicked spirit. Satanic wickedness. The wickedness of the wicked. Mm. Satan has doctrinated and has recruited some people. Mm. It doesn't matter what. They have sold their birthright. Yes. They cannot obtain salvation any longer. Mm. Some people when they die, their spirit becomes demons. Mm. But when you talk about principalities, when you talk about spiritual wickedness in high places, when you talk about the, the, the what Ephesians chapter says, you, you talk the, the read for me, Ephesians is from verse number 12. Quickly, okay, let, let, let's look at you. And give me five minutes to run off. Preacher, uh, preacher, yeah. 12 says that for we rested not against flesh. For we rested on what? Against flesh. Oh, come on, heaven. For we wrestle not against what? Yes. Flesh and blood. Uh -huh. But principalities. Principalities are fallen angels. Uh -huh. Against powers. And powers are fallen angels. Against the rulers of the darkness. Rulers of darkness are fallen angels. Against spiritual wickedness. Against spiritual wickedness in high places are all foreign angels. They are all the choir boys of Lucifer. <laughs> because don't forget. He was in charge over the choir. Mm. So when, according to Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 hours, after the war, when God cast him out, he came down with all the power boys. Yes. That's why in the choir things happen. Hey, hallelujah. Do you understand? He came down with all the choir boys. Hey, what happened? He, all the angels that were under him, supposed to be facilitating worship to God. He came down with all of them. Do you understand? So I'm trying to release this into your spirit because I'm going to take you to some certain type of prayer tonight. Right. Amen. Amen. You will not approach this prayer by binding Satan. Mm. Oh, come on here, somebody. Yes. I said, you will ask Satan to lose his ground. Oh, yes. Amen. By the blood of Jesus. Amen. By the name of Jesus. Amen. By the arrows of the fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Satan, lose your hope yes. over my mind, yes. over my spirit, yes. over my soul. Over my body, in the name of Jesus, over the will of God, over my life, over the destiny of God. Do you know that Satan can make sure that your children don't desire the presence of God? When you tell them, let's go, let's go to church, they get angry. Yeah. Which is not there. It's the mandate of the father as a shepherd, or the mandate of the woman as a watchman to stand in the gap for that child. And tonight I want us to pray. Amen. I said I want us to pray. Amen. Remember, his headquarters is not in Ghana. His headquarters is not in Alaska. Satan's headquarters is in the second heavens. That's right. And then if there is a second heaven, then there is what? A first and a third heavens. The first heaven is this the atmosphere that we see. When the stars, the blue world, when you go into Africa, you fly to or going to US, some of you are going to US, you fly through. That's the first heavens. The second heaven is where Satan and his principality dwells. Mm. 
So the third heaven, because remember, God lives above a class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my you cannot put God in a class. So with my logic and understanding, God does not even exist in the third heavens. Mm -hmm. God lives above the third heavens. Yes. Yes. But the third heaven is called where when the saints of God die, Abraham, all the good ones, they are there. Yes. That's where they are. But God lives above the third heavens. But Satan makes sure that he's trying to get information from the third heavens. Mm -hmm. When God released an information to the archangel or to Gabriel, who is the uh, information minister, to, to bring to you, Satan will look into your archives. Mm -hmm. Last night, she fornicates. Last night, she lived in sin. He used legal rights. Mm -hmm. He used legal rights. When he dealing with national issues, God released archangels. Mm -hmm. When you're dealing with family issues, there are different angels that God released. You sitting here, you have your angels. You have your personal angels that watch over you. This church has an angel that watch over the church. That is why no demon can fly any plane here. So you understand? You have to study all these things. You have to know that the reason why Lucifer is fighting us because we are a tool in the hand of God. We are dangerous. You don't know how dangerous you are mm. until God open your eyes. Mm. When God said, touch no more anointed, mm. and when God said, do my prophet no harm, he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. So stop walking on the street with your head down. Jesus. Walking in depression. Believing the lie of the devil. Mm. Who telling you are dying? Mm. Who telling you not to succeed? Mm. Who telling you not to be here? Mm. Who telling God is not watching over you? Yes. Yeah. If you believe the lie of the devil, you are walking in sin. Yeah. And he goes to God and says, He's not believing in your word. Mm -hmm. He's walking in disobedience. So therefore, he's disqualified. Yeah. Then he assembles his demons to wait alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they'll be waiting. Mm -hmm. So while you are praying, your angel has been departed. Yeah. Your miracle has been given. And you ask yourself, how does Satan get money for his people? If he's not God. Mm. How does Satan get all the good things that he showed Jesus in Matthew chapter 4, Luke chapter 4, John chapter 4, that from verse number 5 to 6, he said, all these things I will give unto you. Mm. How does he get it? Mm. He, Satan gets these things as the result of, of the prayer of the saints. Mm -hmm. When you pray for miracles, babies, money, mm. whatever you pray for, mm. what Satan does it, he wait until you finish praying. Then as soon as you set that from the church or from your prayer closet, he calls you to sin. And as soon as you finish praying and you live in sin, you are disqualified for your miracles. So when your miracle is departed, demons hijack those. This is a revelation. You, you understand? When your miracle is departed, demons hijack your angel. And they seize your miracle. And they store it in Satan's account. This is deep. So when you obey Satan, then he give it to you. Oh, wow. And he make you feel that he's also powerful. Yeah. But he's not powerful. Yeah. Whatever he's giving to all those celebrities, they are your miracles. Yeah. But it's because you pray and you after prayer, you are not living a holy life. Yeah. After church, you are going to fight. You are going to watch pornography. You are going to steal. You are, you are, you are, we are living all sort of lives. We are not defined who we are. If you define your royalty, you don't eat from everywhere. Yeah. You don't go everywhere. You don't carry yourself cheap. Definition gives you authority of who you're supposed to be. So sit down, define yourself. And stop playing miracles into the hand of Lucifer. For him to make his agents powerful. So they are living at your expense. Yes. They are enjoying at your expense. Yes. And hear me. He said, but how can demons empower your angel? Your angel takes your personality. Your angels take your personality. I'll prove it to you. When Paul and Silas was in prison, or Paul, in Acts chapter 4, something like that. But also when the church was praying, the angel of the Lord released Paul. Mm. 
And when Paul went to where they were praying and knocked at the door, Bible said a young girl came and opened the door. And went and told the crowd that Paul is at the door. They say, you are lying. It was his angel. He didn't get it. Yeah. You are lying. The person you saw was the angel of Paul. So it tells you that every child of God, born again, don't speak in believer, you have angels. Yeah. And your angels look at you. I'm going somewhere. Mm. If your miracle is released by your angel and the devil does not sign against your angel to make sure that your miracle does not come to you but goes to a wrong hand, they will steady your angel. If your angel is not wearing shoes, they will set fire to hinder him. Because don't forget, he's taking your image. So if they set fire, that fire will hinder him. If he's not wearing a breastplate of righteousness, they will shoot arrows towards his chest. If he's not wearing a helmet, they will target his head. That is what the Bible said. That put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Hear me? Put on the whole armor of God. That you'll be able to walk. stand the evil days. So after 21 days praying and fasting, after waiting on the Lord, after your morning devotion, make sure that you tell God that God. I've enjoyed this prayer session. Lead me not into temptation. Amen. Amen. Deliver me from evil. Yes. Amen. Let the evil one have authority over me. Amen. I circumcise my mind. Yes. I circumcise my spirit. Yes. The devil comes. You have nothing in me. Amen. When you live such a life, you will be laughing all the way to the world. Yes. Is God answers prayer. Yes. But your prayers that God has answered because we are not living the mindset of God. We are not living a holy life. We are not living a righteous life. You notice that God has already released the miracle, but the miracle has been diverted by demonic word. And they are stalling. So when anybody go and bow down to the devil and send their soul to the devil, then the devil give it to them. Do you understand? Then the devil will give it to them. But I pray that from today, Amen. what belongs to you, Amen. nobody will take it. I said, what belongs to you, nobody will take it. Amen. May you live here a righteous Amen. sense. Amen. May you live here a holy sense, Amen. a holy nation, Amen. a peculiar people, yes. choose by God, Amen. that will stand in the gap. Amen. Hear me? That will stand in the gap. Let your presence be known. Yes. Wherever you go, let demons manifest. That's right. Let them scream. Yeah, that's right. Let them shout. Yes. Have you come ahead of time? You know why they manifest at Jesus? It's because there was no saying in him. Mm -hmm. So anywhere you go, you come in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. The sick are healed. The blind receive their sight. The dead are resurrected. Miracles happen. If we live such as Christians, we we'll turn this world outside out. You don't need to be so souls will be attracted to you. Amen. Have you seen Jesus go around and say, Come on to Jesus? No. People troop after Jesus. Why did they troop after Jesus? Because there was something in him that attracted them to him. The sun shall follow them that believe. In my name, don't cast out demons. If they take any deadly thing, it will not help them. As I bring this exhortation to a thing, stand on your Lift our holy hands together. Oh, I'm the respirator.